really wanted to be mad that this still hasn't turned up. Or the fact that I'm going to have to get in touch with them to figure out what's going on for them to say, oh, it should ship within a week or two, that'll ship a couple of days later, like it has with everything else, because PMC fulfillment are being butt munchers. But I don't care anymore. My annoyance at this, my pissed offedness at this, instantly went away when I realised Digital Extreme have actually managed to raise the $100,000 goal for Quest to Conquer Cancer prior to it ending on October the 31st. Yep, it's a little bit annoying that that merch, is, it's already apparently shipped to people, but um, three weeks later would be nice to know what the hell's going on with, the one, with any of them. Who cares? This total is higher once they add the merch that has been sold during October to this total. Every 5,000 afterwards, yeah, there is other goals. <laughs> An official Wisps in the Wall re artwork reveal. Oh, you mean like that? Hmm. <laughs> Three more of them. In fact, that one will probably be undone by the end of today, but the armor is available in the marketplace now. Everything. The UI will be an inbox message November 1st. Umbra former November 3rd. November 1st to November. Yep, that's a login and should just be an inbox message. Affinity weekend November 11th. This makes no sense to me. Why so late? And everything else basically has already been unlocked for quite some time and November 17th. Umbra former alert. It lasts until November 17th, which is why that makes no sense to start when all of these alerts end. But hey, well done to Digital Extreme for that one. Now let's move on to completely destroying them with a dev stream about an update that came out a week ago. And the amount of things they're going to go on about in this that have absolutely nothing to do with what's coming. And hopefully, let's take a look at what is coming. As well as Barrow coming this... Th the 3rd? Yeah, 3rd of November with the Gotfa Prime Relic. They have made it a Barrow item. As you can see, Plague Store. More importantly, Plague Store Steel Path Mode. There is a few changes that are coming to this and it's going to be to stop leeching. They have basically made it so now it's oh, the Eidolon stuff and the infested stuff that you're supposed to put in there to make the mission harder to get better rewards. One person was always doing it, nobody else was. Unless I was playing, in which point somebody would put it in, and they'll kind of stand there for a second, at which point I'll turn up and put the rest in. Because it's not fair for one person to be doing it all. Rather than just putting one in myself and backing off, it was kind of my own fault. I know people do this. They will go and they will put in all of the Eidolon things, or the infested things. Rather than letting other people have a go to do it. I've done it myself tons of times. I've watched other people do it where in the length of time it took me to get from where I was to there, it's all done somehow. It was supposed to be one each. That's now gone. Now, it, you have to still have them, but you don't have to put it in the gear. It's just going to take it off you when you start the mission. But you can see the rewards on these for completing the mission. Well, it's basically just um, a mod or a relic. That's pretty much it. There's like one, two mods in there. Narrowmon lenses. For some reason, Revenant chassis is in there. Never mind. But the steel... Oh, I'm actually looking forward to trying this on the steel path. November 7th. Before I forget, she's literally just mentioned it. I don't think I mentioned it earlier. November 7th is when this will be coming live to all platforms. Plague Store returning. Believe it or not, the first thing they got into properly in whispers in the wall is the fog system is being backported from soul frame you'll notice the lack of uh, me my video from tenocon about soul frame it's there if you can find it i ain't making that live again one of the concept art they did show was kind of weird because that cavat is a lot smaller than the actual real one is that's there with albert and trotty also you gotta remember this guy looks nothing like the rest of the entrotties
Love to see when that's going to be explained. And I do love the infested enemy from Warframe 1999. You've got Lotus on the uh, display in the middle and it's infested. Not really sure why it has so many controllers built into it for one TV though. Oh, they're finally bringing back operations. This isn't going to happen till Win Whispers in the Wall. Not going to go too much into it, but it is going to be clan orientated. Uh, an operation. An event. Not really sure why we have to wait until Whispers in the Wall comes out for this, but hey, Digital Extreme, this is something that is long overdue. It's about damn time they actually ran a new event. The last one? The last new one? Yeah, we don't talk about that one because it was probably their most hated one ever. Let's just say, the Scarlet Letter was not with them. I was wrong. But, Severgoth's Deluxe is going to be coming up, and the last event they kind of ran wasn't Scarlet Spear, as I was thinking, that was December of 2019. No, it's Orphix Venom I was thinking of, and that was August of 2020, apparently. I'm, I just quickly looked it up, and it says 25th. Uh, believe that was Tenocon? No, Tenocon was the 1st of August that year, whenever it was. No, it was the 1st of August, because the uh, Deimos update came out on the 25th of August. I think, not confirming nothing, Orphix Venom was the last event they ran over three years ago. Not including the ERG stuff for Zaramon, that was not an event. That was something completely different. Orphix Venom was the last new event they ran. Star Days, Knights of Navarus, Dog Days, all reruns. Scarlet Spear? Yeah, it was 2019. And yes, I was waiting for this. There is a lot of different parts to his kind of death thing. There was for Anoris as well. We're kind of forgetting that one. But yeah, not that much shown if we're being 100% honest, because all they did was turn around and say the one thing we were all dreading. More information in the next dev stream that will probably be mid to late November. <sighs> it's like they forgot what the hype train is. Oh well, with that we'll leave this off, yeah. There is a, an, a shoulder plate that comes with it. Gilly chap. Um, hopefully this is actually something we can use and put on other ones because uh, that's going to be one of the best shoulder plates they've done so far because there's actually some creativity in it instead of just shoving a shape on your shoulder and forgetting to readjust it like they have a few times in the past. Like the fact it's got a little bit of story to it as well. Eh. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.